Hi everyone, Animal Girl here, back with another edition of TV Talk. It's Saturday, and that means it's Touched by an Angel Day. And this week's episode was... Nothing But Net. Hero worshipping plays havoc when an impressionable youth develops a bond with a troubled Salt Lake Saint point, Saints point guard. The angels join forces to redirect the path of both people, recruiting them, rescuing them from immediate and future danger. Okay, things I loved about this episode. First off, I really liked the message. And there were actually a couple messages in this episode, but some of the big ones were, number one, um, sometimes myth misplaced admiration can lead to trouble, particularly when it is a child or an adolescent who is doing um, the admiring, um, because they will want to imitate who they are admiring. And it's not a bad thing if it's a, a good person they're imitating, but it can be really bad if it's a bad role model that they're imitating. Um, secondly, and I don't know if this was intended or not, but it is something that I got out of it, and that is that we tend to put celebrities on pedestals. We see someone famous via a someone who's in sports, like a basketball player or a hockey player or a soccer player or a football player or a baseball player uh, or someone who's in the music industries, like a singer or a band or someone who's in cinema, like a movie star or a TV star. And we sometimes think that they can do no wrong or we tend to place them higher up than we are, and we tend to not realize that, especially when we're younger, that they are human. They have all the same flaws and um, hopes and dreams and fears and whatnot that, and problems that we do. Um, we just tend to think, oh, because they are celebrities and they have everything we don't, that sometimes they don't. Um, are there celebrities out there that I admire? Yes, there are. There are celebrities in music I admire. Um, Kenny Rogers, um, Lone Star, Toby Keith, Alan Jackson. Um, not so much sports, because I'm not into sports, but um, movies and TV. Um, Mark Hamill, Harrison Ford, um, Reese Witherspoon, uh, Alex Trebek, um, trying to think here, um, Orlando Bloom, um, and even, even though she's, she passed away, um, Carrie Fisher, uh, I admire all of them, um, and I, but I do know that, you know, as much as I admire them, they are people, and, what not. And what they're saying in this episode is that we see in a good chunk of the episode, the boy believes this person that he is admiring is someone who can do no wrong. He is the coolest person in the world and whatnot. But this person's got some real problems um, and whatnot. And so we do, they kind of exaggerate it a little bit in this episode to a degree, but it's still, like I said, I feel that they kind of get the point across that, you know, even though somebody is a celebrity, it doesn't mean that they're not human, that they don't have problems and character flaws. And that is something that we see in this episode as well. Secondly, 
we meet a brand new angel in this episode. Now, well, brand new, I don't mean that he's brand new, just created angel. Um, but he is new to us. And that angel is Raphael. And for those of you who are um, Ninja Turtle fans, no, I don't think he was named after Raphael from Ninja Turtles. I think he was named after the painter. Um, and I think he was also given that name because it is a very common Hispanic name, and he is a Hispanic angel. Um, you, you see what I mean by they're doing a lot of the race um, mixtures in this episode. We have angels who are white, angels who are African American, um, angels. We have a Hes Hispanic angel. Um, have yet to see an Asian or an Indian or a Native American angel, but I'm sure we'll come across some of those somewhere down the line. Um, but I think that was part of it too because um, Rafael is a very Hispanic name and Spanish name. So that's why they gave him that name. Unfortunately, I could not find who actually plays him. So I'm sorry I couldn't add that in there. Uh, he will pop up from time to time after this episode. So if you really like Rafael... In this episode, he will show up in a couple of other episodes. I believe the next one is... In three TV talks, we will see him again. So you can look forward to that. Okay, things I didn't like about this episode. Honestly, there was nothing I didn't like about this episode. It is very, very rare for me to dislike... A touch by an angel episode because they are so good and they get the points across so well and I may have issues with how they get the point across I may be like well, wait, wait a minute how did how did you get to that point from this but they do a good job of getting the message across and again some of them are such big messages that they have more than one episode where they try to get the point across or they combine their efforts with the green family from promised lands so again I really nothing worth nitpicking over for things I did not like about this episode okay feel free to leave your comments and questions in the comment section I do love to read those please like and share this video if you're watching on Facebook or like and subscribe if you haven't already if you're watching on YouTube and feel free to follow me on Wattpad, Tumblr, Instagram, Twitter, and Divian Art. I do have my name for those five sites right there on the screen, as well as the pictures I use for the icons. Please note that all pictures seen within this video belong to their respected artists. I own absolutely nothing. And all and the links for the five sites I mentioned will be in the description section. Okay, quick reminder on my comment rules. Feel free to check out my other TV Talk videos on Touch by an Angel. My other TV talk videos. And my other videos. Okay, before I sign off, a few things I'd like to touch on. First off, and this is for my YouTube subscribers, any of my videos that cannot be found on YouTube are on my Facebook page. I will have the link in the description section. And this one is for my Facebook friends. Any of my videos that are not on Facebook are on my YouTube channel. The link will be in the description section. 
I will be posting the link for all my YouTube videos to Facebook, but if you're having any problems viewing them that way, you can just go right to my face or my YouTube channel. And lastly, I would like to apologize for not posting a video in the past three weeks. Uh, unfortunately, things were a little bit crazy for me. I do apologize for that. Uh, unfortunately, this does hap this will happen from time to time with TV Talk. Uh, I will try not to let it happen too often, but if I have a family event or if I have to work and I just run out of time, unfortunately, I will have to sacrifice a TV Talk video. Uh, hopefully, that will not happen for a while. But if it does, I apologize in advance. As always, thank you for watching and have a very nice day.